This is a recovery Gulf Coast box turtle number 21. And this particular one is a female. It's got yellow arms. It's May 2nd, 2019. It weighs 756 grams. Dome height 76. Length is 155. Width is 122 millimeters. Um, when I preliminary data here shows it's close to number eight, number 18, and number 21. And so what I do to make sure there's not a duplicate entry, I go look at all the prior old data. And some of these haven't been recorded in a long time, so it's difficult to figure out what's which. The dome height is something that uh, doesn't change that much with time and is a big clue. So I narrowed it down to number 8, number 18, or number 21. By looking at some old videos and some of the data, here I notched it back in 2017. And this does have notches like that. And unfortunately, back with number eight back here, I had some notches in the similar locations here. But I added one here at the one o'clock position that's, that's not there anymore. So I've determined this one through a bunch of videos and things to be number 21. After a few years, it's kind of hard to tell if you don't have a duplicate. So, this originally was fairly timid. The bottom does have some shell damage here. And in an earlier video, this pattern, the bottom, looked very similar. And there was some damage over here before. And... If it's within a few years, the pattern will look just about identical, and after a while, you'll get some of the spots will be the same. And there's the notch from a couple years ago. And there it is on here. I'm going to go ahead and re-notch it. But I really need to put an RFID on here. To identify because after a while it gets to be very difficult to make sure you don't have a duplicate entry there on the left side there's some uh, gross damage here on the shell it's a place here it's a pockmark it's been gnawed on what will happen is after a few years all this kind of it's like fingernail it grows back material and, and then you don't really have a very good clue that's why after a few years it's uh, difficult to figure out what's what it's not like this fingerprint of a shell pattern is going to exactly be the same after a few years you might see this area and this area to be very similar and that's how you identify that but this is number 21, definitely. So we're just recording this for the next recovery. That's a female. It's got, in this area, they have kind of yellow arms like this. Okay, I did make the notch here and the one over here a little bit deeper with the file. Try not to make it too deep because it makes the turtle vulnerable to uh, attack. And I did add a small one up here on the about the 11 o'clock position. It's two flutes over. Better to use kind of a rounded file so it's structurally not. Uh, Not to a stress point when the animal tries to break in its shell, you want it to be still fairly robust. 
So there's some extra notes. Added a notch to the 11 o'clock position. I put a little 21 on it that it'll come off in probably about a month. That's just a local aid in case I quickly want to identify it without going through all this rigmarole again. So there's the notches. Actually two of those are added. One is just something that happened due to chewing. I know I don't put a notch between these flutes. That's something that due to animal damage. But that's the one I just increased the notch on and the one over here that I put in there years ago. And then there's one over here at the 11 o'clock position. I just went ahead and just put a small one. And this has got natural features here. There's some area that's been chewed on. Same over here. So recording just natural features without notching is a little bit better. Not mess around with the file. There's some damage on the left side about the nine o'clock position. Here's some here. Those will generally disappear in a couple of years, so if you find the turtle six months later, it's going to be there, but after a couple of years, it all heals up. It grows like your fingernail back. So, features like that are good to record short term. Long term, they're going to disappear.